and uh, we, we, we are at the road and uh, this is actually the building yep so this is the neighborhood very bustling area yep that's the entrance all right second floor let's head on in this is gonna be a challenge with the luggage Woo. Ah, look at this old Vietnamese buildings so cool yeah we've arrived that's the door right there we need to put in the number to get a key yep got the keys let's head on in I'll show you why this place is so unique First and foremost, when you come in, you're greeted by this ginormous, what I would think is a 65-inch TV. Wow. Please turn on the lights, fan and AC when you leave. But this... Guys, look at this. It is so different from the outside. All the building, the houses, this Airbnb. So you have the nice living area here. It's pretty quiet as well. There are some house rules, of course. Yeah. And you can see, let me turn on the lights. All right. There you go. That is the bed itself. Isn't that beautiful? So cozy. I love the decor of this place too green white combo makes it look very refreshing look at this light here gorgeous the choices of uh, decor very tasty indeed and another thing to note is that they have this little stairs and if you head on up turn on the light here can see there's actually another bed on top it's like a double decker somewhat but the mattress for this looks pretty thin but there are plug points there plug points there as well very cool but I'm not utilizing it since I'm all alone so truly appreciate uh, that there is a plug point there and there's also a Oh, yeah, there you go. Let there be light. Very soft. A little bit hard, the bit. Very common here in Vietnam. So the aircon is just right above. And as you can see from the unit itself, it looks very new, which is great. Even the remote control right over there. And uh, one thing I absolutely love about Airbnbs that provide a fan to get the circulation going so very appreciative of this yeah i was worried there was no fan here but this is great but yeah i love the decor of this place the plug points there as well i can uh, charge things over at this table 29th of october yep that's the date today and uh, there's some tea coffee welcome tea coffee oh. And uh, you have a uh, hair dryer, iron, yeah, the towels are here. Yeah. All right. And then a reminder of your house rules again. <laughs> but let's have a look at it from this angle. And uh, as mentioned, it's a huge contrast to the building itself. Very, very old building here. But location wise, it's smack in the district one near Yunhui walking street 
very convenient i'm very familiar with this place so i'm guessing this is the bathroom yes it is okay that should be for the heater oh wow hi everyone quite a walk here so very nice little basin you have like a makeshift little kitchen here kettle microwave fridge and all the kitchenware and cups there's even a hot plate here in case you need it and uh, this should be the bath yeah the shower okay they provide you the soap and shampoo and i am really curious what this is ah the toilet bowl so it's a separate place nice i love how they utilize the space here very cool yeah so what do you guys think of this little airbnb as mentioned i think this is a gem of a find when i found it i straight away contacted uh, the host and uh, luckily i could get it for the this period of time when i'm in uh, ho chi minh city or saigon and i'll be staying here for six nights so gonna make it my base in regards to the location again this place is uh, very close to Nguyen Hue Walking Street and Bitex Co Towers uh, which houses a very good uh, buffet a Vietnamese buffet and also a lot of good food gas shops surrounding the streets a lot of good food here basically and it's a smack in the center of all the happening places and more importantly Saigon Center Mall is just a uh, Two roads away. In fact, that's where um, the bus 109 dropped me just now. It was just after Saigon Center, and I walked all the way here, so I can easily do some shopping there. Yeah. So they provided mineral waters too, but I need to go out and get them. Others. Also to note, walking here, um, I passed by the 7-Eleven, very close by. Uh, a lot of things as within this whole area that is, makes it a very convenient place and uh, again the best thing I love about this Airbnb oh, the dog neighbor dog is that it gives such an amazing contrast between what the old Vietnam is and how well decorated this Airbnb is all right so yeah look forward to staying here for six nights we'll keep you guys updated on my last night here on how's the stay one thing to note, staying in the Airbnb in an old building in uh, Vietnam, one of the main concerns are the water pressure. So one thing they have done here is they installed this and that will give you very good water pressure, which is much appreciated. Well folks, uh, has been six wonderful nights here staying at this Airbnb uh, just a quick recap and feedback on uh, my six nights here and my stay here um, it's, it's been a great location number one the, the Airbnb is awesome there are some uh, little things that uh, could be improved which I've shared with uh, Anne uh, the host and uh, but those are very little minor things and can easily be solved. What can't be solved is uh, the, 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 well, kind of the noise at night because there are some quite a few bars and pubs around this area. Uh, but if your noise is not an issue, then yeah, no worries about it. I mean, we are not talking about very loud ones, but I guess it's mostly the bass uh, that, uh, you know, the boom, 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 it's a very subtle one. Um, the first uh, night, it, it did uh, kind of put me off a little bit because I was not used to it. Uh, but subsequently, I slept like a baby. But other than that, yeah, great stay. The bed is on the slightly firmer side because I think most Airbnbs in, uh, in Vietnam as well is similar. But um, yeah, can't complain. The pillows are great. Uh, I wish they provided four pillows instead of just two but uh, 
yeah, minor stuff once again. Uh, this uh, staircase, since I'm all by myself, can be quite dangerous because of the ages, but uh, if you're mindful for it, again, no issues. TV is humongously great, uh, but uh, I think the last three days I couldn't turn it on. Perhaps it ran out of battery, uh, I did inform Anne, and, uh, but yeah. Most importantly, I a few friends came over and uh, they are, all of them were very surprised by this Airbnb. They, they felt it was such a great, great space uh, and very surprised as well because from the moment outside the building to the staircase and coming in here is like a two different worlds, uh, which is what I absolutely love about this Airbnb. So yeah, plug point wise is everywhere. Yeah, no issues. There's one right next to the bed over there as well. I can see my plug is still plugged in there. Uh, charging my phone uh, before I depart for the airport. And um, area wise, plenty of food. No worries. There's one very popular uh, pork noodle right in front of the uh, the building actually. And um, there's a very good um, vegetarian bun me if. Uh, just uh, heading out towards uh, 7-Eleven. Yeah, plenty of people here as well. Now, if vegetarian is not your deal, walk on that side and you will find uh, the traditional banh mi, very popular one, at, right at the corner. Uh, transport wise, um, I do find, I mean, I, it's more for myself, is because most of the time I walk to 7-Eleven, which is about 150 meters, to call my grab car or zan uh, car is because I th this road in itself is can be quite congested and it's very difficult for cars to come in here and um, so usually I don't you know I don't ask the car uh, or the cab drivers or the grab drivers to drive into this road they will either drop me right outside uh, on either side of the road and I'll just walk into uh, the Airbnb yeah, so those are the things that you be mindful of. But 7-Eleven is right there. And if you turn right, there is a GS25 as well, a very big one. Um, so yeah, so plenty of options here. And uh, Nguyenhui Walking Street is just four, 500 meters down the road. So wow, you're not gonna be out of things to do if you stay here, that's for sure. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, do consider give this uh, video a like, subscribe to the channel and um, if you have any thoughts about or questions about this uh, Airbnb or the area, please let me know in the comments below and I'm heading to the airport now so see you in the next videos. Yeah.